بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو اور ٹو ڈے لیکچر اور ٹو ڈے لیکچر از بیسڈ آن ہاؤ ٹو اپلائی جوہانسن کو انٹیگریشن ٹیسٹ جوہانسن کو انٹیگریشن ٹیسٹ بیسکلی یوز فار دی چیکنگ آف ایگزٹنگ آف لانگ رن ریلیشن شپ بٹوین دی ویریبلس وین وی وانٹ ٹو نو دیٹ ویدر دیر ایگزٹ آ لانگ رن ریلیشن شپ بٹوین اور آل دی ویریبلس then we apply Johansson co-integration test. So uh, before applying Johansson co-integration test, make sure that all of your variables are stationary at uh, same level. Either they must be stationary or, uh, at uh, level or either they must be stationary at first difference. If you are, uh, some variable are stationary at level and some variable are stationary at first difference, Uh, you have mixture of uh, level then you cannot apply uh, Johansson co-integration test. So make sure that your R variable are stationary at same point or same level. So what is the first step? The first step is that uh, copy your Excel data and bring it to the reviews file. Uh, I am telling again and again and by all uh, lectures that it is the only uh, one method for uh, putting your excel data into views data views and it is the most commonly used method and easiest method so i am i always using this method there is also certain different methods for bringing your excel data into views data so it is up to you uh, which method uh, you are going to use okay so here uh, mention the start and uh, end date of uh, your data after mentioning the start and uh, end date of your data uh, go to quick empty group and uh, paste your data here okay after uh, pasting data into views now go to quick uh, group statistic and now click on johansson co integration test okay now here uh, it is asking you uh, to Uh, provide him the list of uh, series or you or groups so what you have to do here uh, you have to mention all the variables uh, which are written yeah so you can write all the variables here it is up to you uh, which of the variable you are writing first it does it does not matter that uh, which variable come first so let's first i am starting with ed uh, gc f GDP, LF, uh, TOP. These are uh, my all variables. Now, uh, after writing all the variables, both the dependent and independent variable, uh, now press OK. So when you press OK, you can see that uh, it gives you multiple options for applying Johnson integration test. So it is up to you that. Uh, which of one you uh, uh, in which one you are interested uh, you can see that this test include no intercept or trend this include intercept but no trend this also include intercept and no uh, trend so it is up to you that uh, uh, out of six uh, which of uh, uh, you are going to use uh, uh, what uh, uh, is i am going to suggest you that apply all of these tests and compare your uh, all test result so out of them which test uh, give you the best result uh, you select them okay you select uh, that result for your estimation okay i will repeat it again uh, apply all of these tests and uh, uh, save the result of all these tests after applying all these tests compare your all test result and the test which give you the best result uh, you can uh, uh, say you can uh, uh, adopt that test for your estimation so here he, 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 it is asking for are you uh, exogenous variable uh, uh, we are not going to write uh, anything here uh, because we are not interested in exogenous and uh, endogenous we are checking that uh, whether our uh, all variables are uh, co-integrated or whether they have a longer relationship 
so we are not uh, telling him uh, which one is our dependent variable and which one is a uh, independent variable i uh, i hope that you all know that what is mean by uh, exogenous variable exogenous variable mean that uh, independent variable which are your independent variable so i am not going to write the independent variable here so as i am not interested in uh, the uh, impact of one variable on the another variable i am interested to check that whether there exists a long relationship between the variables or not so uh, here uh, it is asking to you for lags it is up to you that how much you are lag uh, you are uh, going to select lag interval uh, there is uh, some methods uh, that tell us that tell you that how much uh, lags you have to uh, put uh, in your uh, model uh, i am uh, i am supposing that, uh, that these method tell me that use one lag uh, so in uh, my coming lecture and future lectures i will tell you that how we can select the lag criteria there are uh, different methods for the selection of lag lag criteria so uh, at the moment uh, i am going with the uh, default setting now press okay uh, when you press okay it will give you the uh, result or outcome of the Johansson point integration test. So there are two types of result. One is called unrestricted point integration uh, rank test, which is also called the traced value or traced uh, statistic. And the other one is uh, called maximum eigenvalues. Okay, you have to look at, uh, at both of these results. Uh, so let's start uh, with the first one. So what does it mean? Uh, it means that none mean there is no long relationship between the variables. Okay, as you can see, it is the uh, all these are null hypotheses. At uh, it is mentioned here, hypothesized. Okay, these all are our uh, null hypotheses. And uh, what are the alternative hypotheses against them? We will discuss one by one. So our uh, null hypothesis for uh, this there is none mean there is no long run relationship okay what is our h naught there is no long run relationship between the variables or there is no point integrated e equation in this model okay what uh, uh, does it mean it is also our null hypothesis and uh, it mean at most one mean that there is uh, one co integrated equation in the model and uh, what is uh, its alternative its alternative mean that there is more than one co-integrated equation of our model okay now i hope uh, that you can uh, understand about the uh, null and alternative hypothesis so let's uh, start with this one our null hypothesis for this is there is no co-integration between the variable there is no long run relationship between all these variables which are ad gcf gdp lf and top so it states that there is no long run long run relationship between these variable okay and what is the probability value uh, probability value is 0 0.11 so if the probability value is less than 0 0.05 then we reject the h naught okay uh, but in this case our probability value is greater than 0 0.05 which means that we have to accept the h naught and what is our h naught there is no long run relationship between these variable okay so our probability value is greater than 0 0.05 so we have to accept this one uh, what does it mean it means that there is no long run relationship between uh, these variable okay if we have done with this then we will not move further to these hypothesis okay if our first hypothesis tell us that there is no long run relationship between these variable or uh, there is no co integrated equation between uh, integration co integrated equation in this model so we will not move further to these okay as you can see that here the result also tell us that trace test indicate no co-integration at the 5% level okay this also tell us that 
there is no long run relationship between these all variables okay now uh, let's talk about uh, the maximum eigen value the maximum eigen value uh, it uh, null and uh, alternative hypothesis are also same as to this uh, values uh, what is the uh, null hypothesis the null hypothesis is that there is no long, uh, no long run relationship between uh, the variables uh, or there is no quantitative equation in this model so its probability value is also greater than 0.05 which means that we have to accept h not uh, and it tell us that there is no long run relationship between uh, these variable okay so both of these uh, test tell us that there is no long run relationship between these uh, variable and uh, our these variables are not moved together in the uh, long run okay uh, we can also tell us about the acceptance and the rejection of the null hypothesis by these two values if our trace statistic value is greater than this critical value okay if trace statistic value is greater than this critical value then we have to uh, reject the h not okay if trace statistic value is less than the critical value then we will accept the h not in this result our trace statistic value is less than the critical value so we have to accept the h not okay so both the probability value and the trace statistic value tell us that we have to accept the h not when probability value is greater than 0.05 we accept h not and when trace statistic is less than critical value then we also accept the h not so both these uh, method tell us that we have to accept not and uh, when uh, when there is no long run relationship between these variable then we can't apply vecm okay when johnson quantigration test tell us that there is no long run relationship between these variable then we cannot apply vecm vector error correction model then we cannot apply vecm then we had to apply unrestricted var model on the variable uh, on the model which have no long run relationship okay uh, i hope that this uh, lecture is uh, uh, beneficial for you uh, this is not the end for johnson quantigration test uh, in my upcoming lecture i will discuss in detail about the johnson quantigration test and uh, its value and uh, how to interpret the johnson quantigration uh, test results so uh, till that uh, good luck and goodbye